In this short video, we'll show you how to install and set up the camera on your iriscope. Insert a CD-ROM into your computer, then double-click on the program named DM9922U. After the program is loaded, you will see a welcome screen. Now let's set up the camera step by step. Currently, the program operates best under English, Traditional Chinese, and Simplified Chinese interface. Select the fifth option from the bottom of the drop down menu to switch to English. Click on Next to continue. Select the first option and click on Next to continue. The software will now take a few minutes to load. When the installation is complete, you may connect the iris scope to your computer. Click on skip, then finish to complete the software installation. Double click on the program icon on your desktop to start. Click on the icon with two gears to change settings. Click on the Alt icon on the left to enter Advanced Setting. Make sure to select Mirrored and Upside Down. Now we have completed the software setup for the camera. In this short video, we'll show you how to install the Iridology software. First, insert a CD-ROM into your computer, then double-click on the icon to start program setup. Click on Next to proceed with setup. Select the location where you want to install the program, then click on Next to continue. Determine whether you want to create a desktop shortcut or not, then click on Next to continue. Click on Install to proceed. Click on Finish to finish the installation. In the following video, we'll show you the basic settings and operation of the Iridology software. First, double click on the icon to open a program. Under User, select Admin. Enter password 111111, then click on Login. Click on User Tool on the right upper corner. Create a username and ID in the new window, which is the, for the practitioner's name. Then create a password, then confirm the password again. Click on Add to add this new user, then close the window. Click on Logout to exit admin. You can now log in using your username and password. Now let me show you how to create customer accounts. First, select Customer Tool to open the window. Select the customer's name. Enter the customer's name, gender, birthday, email address, reference number, telephone number, mobile phone number, and the address. When finished entering the information, click on Add to continue. Let's also create one more just for practice. When finished, close the window. After the account set up, you may select the customer on the drop-down menu and start iris image capturing and diagnosis. In the following video, we will show you how to capture and diagnose using the iris scope. First, select the customer's name from the database. Then select the device 
from the right upper corner. You can minimize the toolbar to, for easier viewing. Select the eye you want to capture the image. Ask your patient to cover the other eye and look straight toward the front. Adjust the focus and position the pupil right in between the reflections of the two light sources. Capture the image. We will recommend that you capture multiple images so you can select the best one for diagnosis. Click on OK when you are finished with capturing. Repeat the same process with the other eye. Again, ask your patient to cover the other eye and look straight toward the front. Adjust the focus and position the pupil right in between the reflections of the two light sources. Capture the image. Again, we will recommend that you take a few images so you can select the best one for diagnosis. After capturing, the images you took will show at the bottom. Select the best image, one for each eye, then click on the analysis icon on the toolbar. You may use the tools to assist you in the diagnosis. For instance, you can adjust the contract or magnifying part of the image for detailed observation. You may select from right or left eye. Let's begin with the right eye. First, click on the parameter position on the iris, starting by clicking on the center of the pupil, then click when the circle expands to the edge of the pupil. Next, when the circle expands to the edge of the intestine ring. Lastly, click when the circle expands to the edge of the iris. After positioning the picture, click on Analysis. Now we can observe the iris image. For instance, we found a discoloration spot and a hole in the image. Select the matching descriptions on the menu, then click on the spot of the image where you find this. After clicking, you will find the computer give you references according to your observation. You may also add in your own comments or suggested treatment. When finished with the process, Click on Analysis again, then click on the other eye. Repeat the process to position the iris image. After positioning the image, click on Analysis. Choose the matching description from the menu, then click on the location where you found the changes. You will receive the computer references and you can add on your own comments and suggested treatments. Click on analysis again to refresh the information. We can now review, add additional comments, or save. That concludes the procedure of iris image capturing and analysis. Another function to mention about the software is that you can select from multiple images from the database to compare patient's progress as treatment goes or from a different angle for additional information. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching.